Testing one, two. Yeah, it's good. Very good. Okay, we'll be starting here in just a few minutes. Uh-oh, did you get in trouble? Tony Kane attorney will help defend you no matter what your situation might be. From criminal cases to civil law, Tony is knowledgeable and will develop a strategy to help you with the best results possible. Schedule an appointment today by calling Tony at McCarter East Law Offices at 563-8042. Don't get caught up in the justice system without solid legal representation. Call Tony today. Want some delicious home-cooked type food? Head over to Parsley's Market in Delhi at 809 Bradeville Road. Whether it be a sausage or egg and bacon biscuit, hot breakfast, or a delicious fill-you-up plate lunch, Parsley's is the place for great food. Breakfast is served from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. and lunch from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Parsley's Market in Delhi is a hometown local business and proud to support local Cannon County events and organizations. Call them today to order food to go at 615-563-1402 or stop by anytime between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. at 809 Bradeville Road. Parsley's Market in Delhi. All right, we are here. And it looks like we're good to go. I got a new pair of headphones, so if you all can excuse me. My other pair blew, and I had to buy a different brand because I'm waiting for the same brand to come back, and my buttons are a little different, so I'm trying to get used to them. But uh, the Cannon County Lionettes getting ready to go on the floor. They will start Abby Alexander at point guard. The shooting guard is number 22, Addie King. The center is number 24, Bella Pelham. And uh, the other forwards will be number 10, Addison Holt, Aniston Holt, and Number 21, Jenna Bush. We'll have to get you the names of the central magnet players as we go along. We just got their rosters, just got everything set up. It was kind of difficult. The cell phone service here isn't as good as one might think. People are having trouble logging on and stuff like that. So we'll try to get things going. Number three, Reese Carlisle as the center will be handled by Central Magnet. Number 22, that's going to be Addison Melton. That's a name that you have heard for many years. Actually, two. She started with three years. This is her third year playing. She started in eighth grade. Reese Carlisle, number three. And Cannon County, that's Abby Alexander with the basketball. Alexander to the right side to Addie King. King going to drive, go up for the layup. It's good. So, 7.23 left to go in the opening quarter. 2-0 Cannon. Top of the key. Here comes a three-point shot. No good by number 10. McCannon or Central will get the ball back and a traveling call will give them their second turnover. Number 10 is Riley McMillan. This just gets better as we go along, I promise. Right side Holt, cross court on over, King's got it. King, baseline is cut off by number 11. That would be Bethany Jackson. All right, side King again. King drops it down low, shot by Bush, partially blocked. Rebound and a held ball. 
Possession arrow belongs to Cannon County. Just getting started here, we've got 6.38 to go in the opening quarter. Aniston Holt with the basketball. Holt drops it down to Pelham. Pelham cross courts it, wide open is Addie King for three, she nailed it. 5-0 run to get it started, 6.20 left to go in the first quarter. Central Magnet with the basketball, Hart, top of the key. They'll swing it to the left side. That's going to be Carlisle. Carlisle's three is an air ball, and it will be Cannon Ball. This uh, Central Magnet team, they're 6-3 and three on the year. They got blown out by Coffee County, but every other game has been, they've been within distance. Alexander right side over to Holt. Holt back to the right wing. Here comes Bush. Bush drops it right side over to King inside. Holt, nice move. Holt misses the shot. The rebound by Pelham, no. Second rebound by Pelham, no. King with the follow-up, no, but a foul. They're going to call the foul on Anderson Holt. This gym can get loud. We'll hear it during the boys game, I'm sure. The Central Magnet fan student section all dressed up with their ugly sweaters for Christmas. They drop it down to Hart. Olivia gives it back. A three on the way from Carlisle won't go, and Cannon gets the rebound. Abby Alexander quickly. Cannon County on a 5-0 run to start this game. 5-15 left to go in the opening quarter. King, she scored all their points so far. She drives to the bucket, blocked shot by... Hart picked up by Holt. Holt going to drive it, go up hard, no shot. No good, actually. And the rebound coming out to number 11. That's Jackson. Jackson triggers it up, top of the key. Hart for three. Oh, that's Melton for three, won't go. Rebound taken by McMillan. McMillan goes over to Carlisle. Carlisle back to McMillan for three. And that time she nailed it. So that's a three-pointer. Cuts the lead down to two with four and a half left to go in the opening quarter. Bush, jumper from the free throw line, no good. Pelham got the rebound, puts it back up, it's no good. And the rebound coming back. Here's McMillan driving the hole, shot up, no. Blocked by the rim. Long pass, King, nice thread. Couldn't make the shot, but the rebound by Bush, and the putback is good. Bush with her first two, 7-5, seven, 7-3, seven, three, 3.54. Long range shot again from McMillan, not gonna go. Rebound, this one's just a two, since she was inside the line. Alexander the other way. Alexander hands it over to Holt. Holt back to Alexander. Abby calls the play, goes to the right side to Pelham. They drop it down to Holt. Holt double team, bounced off of her, goes out of bounds. First turnover by the Lionettes. That'll bring Allie Lawson off the bench. Abby Lynn Teeter will check in for Holt. So 3.26 left to go in the opening quarter, 7-3 to three the score. It's going to be McMillan. McMillan, top of the key, got Carlisle. Carlisle open for a three. That one's not going to go. Hits the top of the backboard, goes out of bounds. Lionettes with the basketball. Coach, by the way, for Central Magnet, if you haven't heard, was Alan, is Alan Bush. Alan, of course, a longtime coach at Canyon County High School before stints at Riverdale and Siegel. Pass goes inside, and there's Pelham. She's fouled by Melton. That's going to be Addison's first. Addison Melton, by far the best player that Central Magnet's got. Like I said, she started back when she was in eighth grade. This is Bush's second year 
with the Central Magnet Lady Tigers. Free throw is up and it's no good. She'll get another one though, Pelham will. That one is up, rolls around and rattles in. 8-3 with 2.50 left to go. Here is McMillan, drops it down low. Carlisle's shot blocked. It's going to be taken away, but thrown back away to Central Magnet. Inbound, Melton will have to trigger it in for Central. Triggers it over to Carlisle. Carlisle's three off the mark. The rebound comes out to McMillan. McMillan stops, pops a little short jumper. She's fouled. And she will go to the free throw line for two shots as Bella Pelham will be guilty of that foul. Glad to have you along with us. We don't have cell phone service to the point to where we can get on the... We got enough for this. I don't quite understand it, but we can't get on the internet. But that's the name of the game at some of these schools. And I, don't, I don't know why Wi-Fi is so bad or internet connection is so bad around here. Second free throw is up. It's good. No good. So 0 of 2 for McMillan. Score remains 8 to 3. Holt, who's back in the ball game, will get it over to King. King's going to drive it, bounce it over to Pelham. Pelham makes the move. It's a tough one. No good. Rebound going to go to Lawson, and Lawson puts it up and is fouled. Number five, who's just checked in for... Picked up the foul, lost his free throw is good. That's Reagan Brand. Second one is good, two for two for Lawson. 2.16 left to go in a 10-3 lead for Cannon in the opening period of play. Here's Hart driving it, drops it left side, threw it away. Third turnover by Central Magnet, and Coach Alan Bush wants to talk about it. We'll talk about it as well over a commercial. We'll be back in a moment on Hometown Showcase YouTube. At Homeland Community Bank, we put in that extra effort and go that extra mile. We'll take the time to get to know you on a personal level and build a relationship of trust. This allows us to recognize your specific needs and then recommend our innovative banking products and services that will provide solutions to your financial problems. We make it easier to achieve your dreams and goals in life. Homeland Community Bank, serving Warren and Cannon Counties. Banking by the people, for the people. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. 10-3 the score, as you can tell on your scoreboard. 2.03 left to go in the first quarter of play. That's a good idea. Are you getting out? Are you getting out? <laughs> Here comes Lawson. Cross courts it. Got Teeter. Teeter traveled. So each team with three turnovers. And number 22, that's Melton. She brings it across half court. Melton, baseball pass wide open. McMillan, she won't take the three. Instead, drives it, drives it to Jackson. Gives it back over to number two, Hart. Hart going to drive it herself, one-handed off the glass, and scored the basket. 10-5 with a minute 16 left to go before the end of the first, and Lawson's shot, no good. Rebound, McMillan stands there, gets it out of there, but it'll be a turnover back to Cannon County. Bush will re-enter the ball game. Abby Alexander checks back in. Here's Holt with the return pass for three. Long rebound into the hands of Melton. Melton, right side McMillan. McMillan will step up, fire a three. It's good. She got him going. 
with the first three. She just scored her sixth point of the night, 10-8. Here's Alexander. Alexander to the left side. Goes over to Holt. Aniston surveys, drops it down low to Lawson. Lawson's shot blocked, but they're going to say Hart got a piece of her. I don't think she did either. She's shaking her head, and really it looked like a clean, a clean block. But we'll take it. Lawson will go to the free throw line to shoot free throws. One up, one in. Second free throw coming up. We'll go in. 12 to 8. 25 seconds left to go. Lost in four, four for only four points. There's a batted ball and it's taken by Cannon. Holt baseline. Holt, baseballs it across. There's King. King drives the baseline, picks up the dribble, gives it over to Bush. Down to the left side. Holt for three. Bounces off and into the hands of number 11, Jackson. Jackson fires up a shot with no time left. And that ends the quarter number one. At the end of one, 12-8 our score in favor of the Cannon County Lionettes. Back in a moment. With number two. The law office of Tara J. Cowan is located in Woodbury. She serves Cannon County and surrounding communities in a variety of areas of practice. These include estate planning and administration, civil litigation, conservatorships, property matters, divorce, and more. Tara's approach to law is both ethical and client-centered. She attempts to give folks as much time as she can, providing them with the best options to attain the best outcome in each case. If you would like to meet Tara, give her a call at area code 615-563-4052 or check out the website cowanlawwoodbury.com. Glad to have all of our sponsors along with us today. So we've got Canyon County High School basketball up here in Murfreesboro Central Magnet School. Our score is 12 to 8. Our thanks to the administration of Central Magnet for allowing us to use their Wi-Fi and Internet services. Without that, we wouldn't have been able to bring you this game either way because the Internet coverage in here is not that great. And I can't even get on my radio server to do the process that I need to do to put us on the Internet as far as the cannon rock radio so we'll just have to deal with this besides i know you want to watch it more than you want to listen to it anyway right here comes a wide open number five reagan brand and she popped it right in 12 10. line that's ball alexander will direct the traffic McMillan in tow, goes to the left side to Holt. Holt drops it inside to Pelham. Pelham makes a nice move, good job. Looked at where she was on the floor, then dropped it in. 14-10, the lead is maintained by four. Jackson, McMillan. McMillan stops, gives it over to number five, Brand. Brand almost got it stolen. Jackson goes inside, loose ball. Hart falls on top of it. And Hart is going to get called for traveling. Five turnovers. Coach Allen Bush did an impressive job his first year last year at Central Magnet taking over. It was a team that, you know, we, we played them. Team that uh, Kyle Turnham had been in charge of for about five, six, seven years. And they were beat down. And come in and brought in a new attitude and now a turnover. And I don't have the stats and I don't remember, but I know they went deep in the postseason last season. And nobody, nobody thought that. That was a surprise. But when you got Addison Melton, probably one of the best high school players in Middle Tennessee on your court, 
You can do anything as Hart muscles up and lays it in off the glass. 14-12 with 6-16 left to go. In the first half, Jenna Bush with the basketball. Bush goes over to Holt. Holt, top of the key. Pass inside the Bush. Bush double, triple teamed and tried to take it up. Did not make the shot, but she is going to be ultimately fouled. And they're going to tag that one on Hart. That'll be second on Hart. 5.51 left to go. It puts Bush at the free throw line to shoot two free throws. One up, one in. Second free throw coming up from Jenna. No good. One of two, and she's got three. Here's number 11. That's, uh, well, McMillan now inside, and it's taken away. Picked off by Pelham. Nice job by Pelham to reach in on that pass to Brand. Left side now goes to Bush. Bush, top of the key, Holt. Drops it down over to Pelham. Pelham looking to go up over Hart. Shot no good. Rebound and a jump ball, held ball, be Canyon County basketball. Inbound from Holt, drops it down to Pelham and she shoves it in over the top of Melton. The and one coming up and Melton will pick up number two. Free throw is good, the and one, 18-12. Two for three for Pelham from the free throw line. McMillan the other way. Here's Hart. Hart goes inside, top of the key. Now got Brand, Brand's little open jumper, good. Brand pulls it back, Brand pulls it back within four. Alexander comes across half court. Left side, King. Addy, cross courts it, Holt. Now down the baseline. Holt, back it up, left side. Here's a three from Addy. No good, long rebound. McMillan tries to cut it off, but King gets to it. Stepped on the out of bounds line, but they said she traveled beforehand. Teeter will check back in. And King will take a seat. 18-14, left side. They drop it down and now a three second violation or what? Yep, three second violation. Number five, Reagan Brand was open but she stood in the lane about 30 seconds to get to that pass. 427 left in the first half, 18-14 to score. Teeter over in the corner, three on the way from Holt, won't go. And Brand gets the rebound. She tries to get rid of it, does so to Hart, now to Melton. Melton left side, three on the way from Jackson, won't go. Rebound, bodies flying everywhere, and Cannon's got it. Here is Bush. Bush reverses the dribble, drives it in the paint, throws it up against Hart. Ball goes blocked out of bounds, it'll be Cannon County ball. Inbound by Holt. Over to Pelham. Pelham runs and makes it on the fly. 20 to 14. 348 left to go in the first half. Three on the way from McMillan. She answers. 20 to 17. That's going to be nine for McMillan, all three three-pointers. Holt the other way, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hart and Madison. And underneath it goes to a wide open Brand and Brand lays it up and in. And at Central Magnet on a little bit of a run as they come back down by 
six and trail by one. We'll be back in a moment. As you Do you need right home, here. auto, or life insurance? Blake Finney of Shelter Insurance has you covered. Home, auto, and life. Blake takes pride in offering personal service and making sure you have the right coverage at the right price. If you have an insurance question, feel free to give Blake a call. They also offer free insurance reviews if you'd like to schedule an appointment to sit down and discuss your current coverage needs. Call Blake Finney today for your free insurance review at area code 615-867-0120. Shelter Insurance, they got you covered. 7-0 run for Central Magnet right now. And here comes Addie King stepping out of bounds. And that is the seventh turnover by the Lionettes. So this could force a lead change, first one of the day. With 309 left to go in this, in this first half. There's a pass to Melton. Addison will drive it against Addy, and they're going to call number 22 whichever way, but they're going to call R22. Substitution coming in for Central. We'll get a name for you here in a moment. Pass over to Melton. Melton will drive it. King stays right with her. And now a three-second violation. Another one, which will give Central Magnet their eighth turnover. 23 is Julie Stubile. And now a pass almost out of bounds, but it's last touched by the Lady Tigers. Inbounds, Alexander with it. Running the offense, left side to King, back to Abby, ball fakes, back to King. King back out to Alexander. Two and a half left to go. Left side, King, Alexander with it. Right side now to Teeter, they drop it down low and right at the ankles and that's gonna be a turnover, that's gonna be the ninth turnover. So here comes Melton driving, and King got a piece of her. Number two for Addy. Puts Melton to the free throw line for two shots. Free throw one, up good. Ball game is tied, 2.14 left to go. Second free throw is no good, but the rebound comes out to Stubile. They get it back to her in the, in the paint and shot up, no good. Lawson will pick up number one, Stiebel will shoot the free throws, one up, one in. Second free throw is good, two for two, 22-20. First lead change of the game. Holt with the ball, flips it over to Alexander. Alexander in the paint, gonna run it, but she traveled with it. That is the fifth turnover. Let's see, hang on. Make sure I'm right. Four, five, I'm sorry. Yeah, the fifth turnover by Canyon County in this quarter. Number 22, Addison Melton. Melton right side. Top of the key, here's a three. On the way, it's good by Bethany Jackson. A minute 30 left to go, 25-20 in favor of Central Magnet. Bush back over to Alexander. Alexander, Cannon County has not, has gone the last two minutes and 40 seconds without scoring. 
Here's the three on the way. Way over shot by Teeter. Central Magnet with the ball. Minute three, Melton switches, gives it over to Jackson. Jackson gonna drive. Hands it to Addison Melton. Melton picked up by Holt. Melton goes to the right side to McMillan, goes right through her hands. Ninth turnover by Central. Number three checks being back in. Reese Carlisle will come in and give Melton the breather with 42 seconds left. Here's Alexander, right side. Holt inside to Pelham. Little jumper from Pelham won't stick. Rebound volleyed around. Pelham got it back, put it up, put it in. Finally, Cannon County breaks the scoring drought. Pelham with 10, 25, 22, 14 seconds left. Here's McMillan, swings it, Jackson for three, won't go. Rebound coming out to Bush, she's in traffic, the ball is stripped, Cannon County ball with eight tenths of a second left. Inbound, Holt will throw it, and that's the end of the second quarter of play. 25-22. It is Central Magnet now with the lead over Cannon County. We'll take a break and get you the scoring summary here in a moment. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in Tennessee. Because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Cocaine is again prominent in the world of drugs and steadily becoming more available. Finding pure cocaine is next to impossible, so dealers have been cutting drugs by adding fentanyl to expand their supply and increase their profit. Fentanyl-laced cocaine can lead to a deadly cocktail. It's important to know what to look for if you suspect a loved one is using cocaine that may be laced with fentanyl. If you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, reach out for help. Narcodon helps people all over the United States find treatment to end the web that traps those in addiction. Narcodon can help you take steps to overcome addiction in your family. Call today for free screenings or referrals, 1-800-431-1754, or learn what to look for. Visit NarcononNewLifeRetreat.org. Uh-oh, did you get in trouble? Tony Kane Attorney will help defend you no matter what your situation might be. From criminal cases to civil law, Tony is knowledgeable and will develop a strategy to help you with the best results possible. Schedule an appointment today by calling Tony at McCarter East Law Offices at 563-8042. Don't get caught up in the justice system without solid legal representation. Call Tony today. Want some delicious home-cooked type food? Head over to Parsley's Market in Delhi at 809 Bradeville Road. Whether it be a sausage or egg and bacon biscuit, hot breakfast, or a delicious fill-you-up plate lunch, Parsley's is the place for great food. Breakfast is served from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m. and lunch from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Parsley's Market in Delhi is a hometown local business and proud to support local Cannon County events and organizations. Call them today to order food to go at 615-563-1402 or stop by anytime between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. at 809 Bradeville Road. Parsley's Market in Delhi. Here in Murfreesboro, it's Murfreesboro's Central Magnet School as tonight the Cannon County Lions and Lionettes taking on the Central Magnet Tigers and Lady Tigers. Right now, we are at halftime of the girls game. It is Central Magnet 25, Cannon County 22. Central Magnet used a 13 to two run and starting with the 524 mark in the second quarter. 
to make their comeback, come back from being six down. They uh, put in nine unanswered points before Cannon County scored with 23 seconds left to go before halftime. For the Cannon County Lionettes, you've got to feel good about yourself, though, even though this lead is three, and like I said, it was by as many as six. But Addison Melton, their star player, Cannon County shut down defensively. She's only got one point so far. But the rest of the cast has stepped up around the three-point line Bethany Jackson scored three. Riley McMillan with three three pointers for nine points. Addison Melton's got the one I mentioned. Olivia Hart, another good player for Central, has just got two. Reagan Brands come off the bench with six, and Julia Stubile has two. For Candy County, they're led in scoring by Bella Pelham with 10. Addie King's got five, all five of those coming in the first quarter. It was uh, Jenna Bush with three. Allie Lawson with four, all four of those off of free throws for the 22 points that Candace put on the board so far. Candace turned the ball, both teams have turned the ball over an identical nine times. Right now, Central Magnet leads it 25-22. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We're listening to the band from Central Magnet performing right here at Central Magnet School in Murfreesboro. At Homeland Community Bank, we put in that extra effort and go that extra mile. We'll take the time to get to know you on a personal level and build a relationship of trust. This allows us to recognize your specific needs and then recommend our innovative banking products and services that will provide solutions to your financial problems. We make it easier to achieve your dreams and goals in life. Homeland Community Bank, serving Warren and Cannon Counties. Banking by the people, for the people. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. The law office of Tara J. Cowan is located in Woodbury. She serves Cannon County and surrounding communities in a variety of areas of practice. These include estate planning and administration, civil litigation, conservatorships, property matters, divorce, and more. Tara's approach to law is both ethical and client-centered. She attempts to give folks as much time as she can providing them with the best options to attain the best outcome in each case. If you would like to meet Tara, give her a call at area code 615-563-4052 or check out the website cowanlawwoodbury.com. Do you need home, auto, or life insurance? Blake Finney of Shelter Insurance has you covered. Home, auto, and life. Blake takes pride in offering personal service and making sure you have the right coverage at the right price. If you have an insurance question, feel free to give Blake a call. They also offer free insurance reviews if you'd like to schedule an appointment to sit down and discuss your current coverage needs. Call Blake Fitting today for your free insurance review at area code 615-867-0120. Shelter Insurance. They got you covered. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in Tennessee. Because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Halftime as we listen to the band over my microphone. I see Santa Claus has made it here. I wonder if he's judging all of the ugly Christmas sweaters out there. And what he gives the person with the ugliest one. And they're getting the Christmas tunes cranked up. Here at halftime in Central Magnet School in Murfreesboro. Coming up in our next issue of the Cannon Courier, it's going to be Christmas issue. We'll have some Christmas articles and Christmas recipes and all that good stuff as we prepare for Christmas. We'll also have something I know tonight the Cannon County Board of Education is meeting. And William Freddie Curtis, the Cannon County Director of Schools, made an announcement last night that I thought was going to be tonight that he was going to retire effective the end of his contract, which is coming up in June, June 30th of 2023. But uh, a lot going on with the school system. They say the the addition to Woodbury uh, Elementary or Cannon County Elementary and 
Middle school is expected to be done by August. It's on track. So I'm sure we'll have other news about that. We've got all kinds of different news and events for you as we get ready for the new year. That will be on next Monday in a week. We've got the current issue out. The new one's out today in people's mailboxes. Came out yesterday. So check that out. And that way you're not asking what time certain things are because you'll be in the know. It's the Cannon Courier. 25-22. You see, we're counting down till we get ready to start the third quarter. We'll be back in a moment with it right here on Hometown Showcase YouTube. Cocaine is again prominent in the world of drugs and steadily becoming more available. Finding pure cocaine is next to impossible, so dealers have been cutting drugs by adding fentanyl to expand their supply and increase their profit. Fentanyl-laced cocaine can lead to a deadly cocktail. It's important to know what to look for if you suspect a loved one is using cocaine that may be laced with fentanyl. If you or a loved one are struggling with addiction, reach out for help. Narcodon helps people all over the United States find treatment to end the web that traps those in addiction. Narcodon can help you take steps to overcome addiction in your family. Call today for free screenings or referrals, 1-800-431-1754, or learn what to look for. Visit narcononnewliferetreat.org. 25 We get ready for third quarter action. It will be McMillan, Jackson, Melton, Hart, and Carlisle, the starting five, coming in for Central. Cannon County will counter with their starting five of Abby Alexander, Aniston Holt, Addie King, Bella Pelham, and Jenna Bush. Addison Melton with the ball. She'll go to the right side to... Jackson is an open jumper, won't go, and the rebound come down by Hart. Back to Melton. Melton to the right side. Melton going to drive on King, and King going to get her with the hands again. She is such a hard assignment to guard, one-on-one. -on -one. And she knows she's only got one point, so she, you're going to look to probably get her the ball more to where she can score. Three-point lead, Hart with the basketball. Hart underneath, shot up, no, but a foul. It's one of the players I've been told that's been improved on this team is Olivia Hart. They're counting on her in the paint. She was a guard at one time when she first came through. Jenna Bush with the foul. And Hart misses the free throw. She'll get a second one. Three-point lead. That one rolled out two. 0 for two, and Pelham will give it over to Holt. Holt gets it across to Alexander. Kind of a matchup 2-3 zone that Central is playing right now. They're staying back, not even pressuring the shooters, and why would they? Cannon's not been the best at making a three-pointer tonight. Alexander. Dumps it over high post to Bush, right side. Now to Alexander again. Holt flashes, but there's too much traffic inside. No trying to thread the pass to her, and the ball gets thrown out of bounds. One thing that I'm sure Cannon talked about in the halftime was limiting the amount of turnovers. Right there with a minute three gone into the third quarter. It's turnover number one, turnover number 10 altogether, turnover number one of the first of the second half. Hart. Gets it to Carlisle. Carlisle left side to Melton. Addison comes off the screen, drops it down the baseline. Hart's jumper is good. Hart with four. The lead is five, 27-22. 6 left to go in the third. King will give it over. Alexander. Finds a wide open Bush. Bush is shoved underneath. That could be uh, Melton. And if it is, that's her third. Yep. That's a big foul. So Bush will go to the free throw line. 
She's the niece of head coach Allen Bush, of course. Free throw is up, it's no good. Second free throw is up. That one rattles out as well. So a blown opportunity for free throws for Cannon and Central grabs the rebound and has a five point lead walking up the floor with it. McMillan over to Hart. Kings, no, they got Bush on her right side, dumps it down, nice screen and Hart fights through the screen. It hung Bush up. 5.49 and a seven point lead. Here's King driving and a hold on who? Number three, Carlisle. No, that's gonna be Holt. There's a shot, it's good. By Jenna Bush. 5.35 left to go. Cannon pulls within seven, uh, five, 29-24. Melton is still in there. Pass goes over to McMillan. McMillan. King trying to play defense. Gets it over to Carlisle. Right side down to Jackson. Jackson. Goes to McMillan. McMillan stops. Pops out to Melton. Addison ball, top of the key. Number three, Carlisle brings it back to Hart. Three on the way from Jackson, won't go. Rebound by Holt, and she'll control. Holt, long pass to Pelham, no good. And that's gonna be a turnover, the 11th turnover. Brand will check in for Melton with the four fouls. 29-24, Central Magnet with the five point lead. Here's Jackson, shovels a pass to McMillan. McMillan lost it and it's picked up by Cannon. 10th turnover, Bush stripped by McMillan. McMillan going the other way. McMillan stops, will back out, give it over to Hart. Left side comes to Jackson. Jackson against Alexander. Jackson throws it almost away, does throw it away. Loose ball gonna be picked up by King and now they're gonna call what? A foul and that could be Hart. No, five, Brand. And that'll be number two on Brand. Cannon's got the ball down by five. 3.54 left to go in the third. Pass goes underneath. Shot up by Pelham's good and a foul. And that might be Carlisle this time. The and one coming up. Yep, Reese Carlisle just picked up number one. 29-26 with 3.49 left to go. Free throw is up, no good, but Holt there with the rebound. Gives it inside, nice pass to Bush, and she pops it off the glass for an easy two. Well, it wasn't really easy. 28, four points in one possession. 3.32 left to go in the game third quarter. Pass sails right through Aniston Holt's hand. She touched it. Stay Central Magnet ball. Central Magnet will inbound. Brand. Trigger it. Dump it down low. Shot up and Pelham going to get called for the foul as she stepped to Hart. Pelham with number two. Hart, who's missed 0 for 2. Free throw one is up, it's good. 
Lawson and Teeter will check in for Cannon. King and Pelham will take a seat. Second free throw won't go. 30 to 28, Cannon with the rebound. One of four for Hart from the free throw line. So you know who to foul. Holt with the basketball, top of the key now to Alexander. A sling it back to Holt for three. Won't go. Rebound, Alexander runs down the loose ball, and there's a foul on number five. That's Brand. That's going to be number three. Anderson Holt not having a good night tonight. She's 0 of 5 from the three-point line, 0 of 8 altogether. And Holt with the basketball. Alexander back to Holt, slings it inside to Lawson. Lawson double teamed and she charged. Inbound it goes. That wasn't really necessarily a charge. As Stubile will check back in. Julius Stubile for Central. Here is Jackson inside Hart. Hart moving on Bush. Layup good. Lead is back up to four with 240 left to go in the third. Pass goes to the right side. Alexander. Alexander will drive, clear it over to Holt. Holt goes inside, overthrows, and we're making this our 13th turnover. 32-28 to score. Pass, it goes to the left side. Top of the key to number two, Hart. Hart goes right wing, now into the paint, tried to make a spin, Teeter got a Hand out of no call. McMillan back over to Hart in the corner. Hart's going to put, put up the jumper up. It's no good. Rebound, Canning County. Lioness with two minutes left, down by four in the third. Holt slings it down to Teeter and gets it to Alexander. Alexander back to Teeter. Teeter back to Alexander, top of the key. Right side to Holt. Holt, pass deflected, taken by Jackson. Fourth turnover in the quarter by the Lionettes. On the left side. Goes back up to Hart, top of the key. Hart to the right side. They drop it down to Hart, double teamed. Hart puts it off the glass and scores it again. 6-0 run by Central. Alexander, right side. Teeter, Alexander with the basketball. Alexander goes to the right wing, Teeter. Back over to Abby. Abby now to the left side to Holt. Holt, back over to Alexander. Now to Holt. Holt pulls up the three, no good. Long rebound by Hart and Central Controls with a six point lead. Olivia Hart. I, I wouldn't come out on her. I'd stay back because Hart's got speed. She was a guard. Now Lawson, yep, there it is. It's going to be a foul. I would not pull Lawson up. I would tell Lawson to stay back because Hart can burn a three, but if she's got a way, and I mean, she thinks she knows now that she can get by Lawson if Lawson comes out on her. We might see that happen right here. Here's Hart with the basketball. Here we go against Lawson. Lawson's crowding her. 19 seconds, and if it wasn't for Central making final shot, Lawson would have or burned almost a foul there. Here's Hart taking it into the paint, coming off the glass with it. No, there's Pelham with the rebound. Holt and McMillan is going to get called with the foul. Yeah. 
Riley just picked up her first 2.6 tenths of a second left in the third. And Holt, ooh, Pelham wide open. Alexander got a three in her mind, and that's the end of quarter number three. Central Magnet still controls it by six, 34-28. We'll take a break and come back with quarter number four in a uh -oh. moment. Did you get in trouble? Tony Kane attorney will help defend you no matter what your situation might be, from criminal cases to civil law. Tony is knowledgeable and will develop a strategy to help you with the best results possible. Schedule an appointment today by calling Tony at McCarter East Law Offices at 563-8042. Don't get caught up in the justice system without solid legal representation. Call Tony today. 34-28, the score. Eight minutes left as we put the fourth and final quarter of regulation on the clock. 6-0 run by Central Magnet to finish the quarter. Has got them up by the six points. You've got to find a way to get Aniston Holt some points. She's been shooting a lot of outside shots. She's been lining. She's been in like the, the paint quite a bit. They haven't been able to get the ball to her. Here comes a pass over to Bush, and Bush missed the shot. Here's Central with the basketball. Lady Tigers. Hart picked up by Bush. Hart. Now to McMillan. McMillan picked up by King. Comes off the screen from Hart. Now the double team. Hart wide open. Got the ball. Bushing now gets back in time. But Hart had it position. 7.22 left to go. And an eight-point lead for Central. Here's King driving. She hasn't scored since the first quarter. Alexander, she's going to drive it. Go up for the shot. No. No foul called, and the ball goes back to Central. Looked like there was a slap, and Central will get the possession arrow. Number 11, Bethany Jackson will bring it up. Jackson goes right side to McMillan. McMillan brings it back to Jackson, now top of the key to Hart. Left side, they go into Hart, the pass def deflected by Bush, loose ball, should have been out of bounds before the re referee blew the whistle. <clears throat> 11th turnover by Central compared to 14 for Cannon. Alexander with the basketball, Abby. Addie, Al Addie King, now back to Alexander. Wide open is Bush, double team, tries to pass an extra one to Pelham. Pelham wasn't ready for it. And let's go 15 turnovers. Lawson will come off the bench. Pass deflected. Hart picks it up. Jackson slings it to McMillan. McMillan drives the paint. Wide open. Layup no. Rebound Hart, but she's fouled. And we'll go to the free throw line. That should never have happened. And they're going to call that one on Bush. That'll be Bush's second. And Hart will be to the free throw line. Hart is one of four from the charity stripe. She bags that one. Lawson will check in for Bush. Hart buries both of them. She's got 15. 38 28. The lead has moved up to 10. Cannon has not scored in the last five minutes of this game. Here's King back over to Holt. Now to King. King driving the baseline. Pass deflected. And the 16th turnover. Too many turnovers. Hart 
Gets it over to Jackson and Brittany calls the play. Alexander stays with her, Hart throws the screen, gets the pass off the screen, lays it in, fundamental ball. 40 to 28. And this one's getting away from the Lioness. We'll take a break. Be back in a moment. Want some delicious home cooked type food? Head over to Parsley's Market in Delhi at 809 Braidable Road. Whether it be a sausage or egg and bacon biscuit, hot breakfast, or a delicious fill you up plate lunch, Parsley's is the place for great food. Breakfast is served from 5 a.m. until 10 a.m., and lunch from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Parsley's Market in Delhi is a hometown local business and proud to support local Cannon County events and organizations. Call them today to order food to go at 615-563-1402 or stop by anytime between 5 a.m. and 10 p.m. at 809 Bradeville Road. Parsley's Market in Delhi. 12-0 run has got this score to 12 points, a 12 point lead. Cannon has not scored since the 336 mark. We're at 536, so this is going on six minutes now of the third quarter. Alexander, right side, King, goes inside the Pelamu, should have taken the shot. Holt comes off a nice screen, shot blocked, and it's off a hold out of bounds. Pelham should have taken that shot. Jackson goes over to Hart. Hart down the baseline. They're doing this, by the way, without Addison Melton, who's been on the bench since the third quarter with four fouls. Jackson, top of the key to Stubile. Stubile over to Jackson, and Jackson nailed down a three. 43 to 28. Right side pass goes over to Holt. Holt will bring it around. Top of the key. Going down to Pelham. Pelham, oh, should have shot it again. Here comes Alexander, triple team, clears it to Aniston. Aniston going to drive it, lay up finally. Canning County scores. And finally, Aniston Holt adds herself to the Scoring column, 423 left to go, 43-30. Jackson, she'll hold the ball as long as she wants to. They go over to McMillan, wide open three, and there's a long rebound in the hands of Cannon. They've got to, they got to move the ball up the floor. They can't just be passing around. They got to get a shot off. Here's Holt for three. His, that's no good. Lawson picks it off, but she can't make the putback. And Central with the ball. Hart trying to reverse, clears it back to Jackson, gets it back to Hart. And now a timeout going to be called by Central because guess who they're going to put in? You got it. Melton's coming back with her four fouls. 3.44 left to go in the game. Cannon, as you can see, trails by 13. At Homeland Community Bank. We put in that extra effort and go that extra mile. We'll take the time to get to know you on a personal level and build a relationship of trust. This allows us to recognize your specific needs and then recommend our innovative banking products and services that will provide solutions to your financial problems. We make it easier to achieve your dreams and goals in life. Homeland Community Bank, serving Warren and Cannon Counties. Banking by the people, for the people. Equal Housing Lender member FDIC. It was a 15-0 run until Cannon finally scored with Aniston Holt, her first two points. The Lionettes now trail by 13-43-30. We're here live from Murfreesboro. Glad to have you with us. If you haven't yet and you're tuning in, please hit the subscribe button. That helps us show YouTube we're serious about what we're trying to get done here. Games are always free. We're never going to charge 
a subscription. No matter how many subscribers we get, and Aniston Holt. With the foul. So that'll be Holt second in Melton. Addison will come up for free throw. She's one of two, two of three. Lead is now 14. Second one bounces in, 45 to 36, a 15 point lead. And Addison Melton with just three points. There's a bad pass and it's gonna be taken away by Central. Melton will bring it across the half court line. Melton picks up the dribble, goes to McMillan. McMillan gives it over to Stubile. Ball's deflected, Milton will pick it up. Double team, Melton steps over, finds Hart, wide open, baseline goes up, and Pelham gets a piece of it. District five, triple A is where Central plays. They've got a school attendance, I thought I saw about 800 kids. As Hart's free throw is up, it's good. Hart's second one, five of eight, 19 for the senior, 47 to 30. 244 left to go in this game. Here's Pelham over down to Alexander. Alexander brings it to King, King drives it, shot no, rebound Hart, King reaches in, causes a held ball. Possession arrow belongs to Cannon County. Long range three on the way. Won't go for Holt. It'll be central ball. Cannon will fall to five and four on the year. As here comes Pass over in the corner, Stubile, top of the key to Hart. Now to Melton. Melton, Hart. Got Jackson, pass deflected, and Holt comes up with it. Holt driving, turns on Jackson, shot up, good. Five points for Holt, 47-32, with a minute 48 left to go in this game. Melton with the ball. Melton gonna drive in the paint over in the corner. Stu Biles jumper no good. Rebound pulled down by Cannon. Lineettes on the run. Holt, top of the key, a minute 28. Cannon down by 15. Teeter passes over to King. Addy goes to Abby Alexander. Alexander left side to King. Swing it back to Alexander, right side. Finds Holt, Aniston. McMillan falls down. Pelham tries to go triple team. Not a good pass at all. McMillan. That is the 19th turnover by the Lionettes. And McMillan Step up to the free throw line and it's up no good. Teeter keeps the ball alive. 53 seconds left. Cannon's gonna clear the bench. Here's a shot, no. And Pelham will go to the free throw line. Pelham's free throw, one up, no good. T 
two of five for Bella. Second free throw is good. One of two on that trip, three of six altogether. She's got 13. So the Lady Tigers are gonna substitute as well. Forty-nine seconds left. We got uh, Miley Swartz. Let's see who else is in there for Cannon County? Katie Beth Fan. We got Katie Kine, Walkup, and Prater. Melton just walking around. Fan driving, pass deflected. McMillan comes up with it. Gets it over to number five. That would be Brand. Crosses it. Seven seconds left. 47 33, your final. Cannon County falls to Central Magnet. So are we going to, it's up to you, are we going to uh, turn the camera off and start a new one or are we gonna just keep it here and? Okay, we're gonna start a new one. So what we need you to do to watch the boys game, we're gonna need you to refresh here in about 15 minutes. We'll come back with the new link. And if you're subscribed to us, you'll get that notification. Final score, 47-33. Central Magnet, Lady Tigers over the Cannon County Lionettes. 